Hey Knights, it's Monday, and I'm finally not feeling like the plague. First off, happy birthday to my mom. I'm really very lucky this year, like both of my parents' birthdays has fallen on a Monday. I, I don't know why I consider that lucky, but I do. Uh, there is a bunch of things that I really want to talk about. I'm gonna just plow ahead and see how this goes. Heroes of Shiloh, or the Super Shilohs. I know that I am going to see them all together and that makes me very excited. Thanks, Glitch. Seriously, you guys, we had a great theme week. I enjoyed it a lot. Next thing on the list is Mechacon. Hey, Wiseman, we're here to talk about animation. I just want to say this band here um, is... Awesome? Yeah. Oh, what is your question again? How much improv did they let you guys do? It was a big <laughs> 2014, July 4th weekend, in Minneapolis, there's a convention called Convergence. We are so that was a nice little thumbnail sketch of what it was. I'm I'm gonna be uploading videos onto my private account because that's what it's for. Pretty sure Moose already has a pretty awesome video of the MegaCon experience on his account. You really should go see that. Going to MegaCon 9 was crazy, but so much fun. The first thing that initially interested me was, of course, Greg Wiseman, and I had a problem trying to make it look like I was not stalking him the entire time that I was at the con. For those of you who don't know, Greg Wiseman is a um, producer, writer, voice actor, two of those he does really, really well. He's actually the head of the dream team that made Gargoyles the amazing thing that it is. And any time that he is making words, I am really happy to be in the vicinity to hear them. So I was really excited about that. Trying really hard to Clamp down on my inner fangirl because Greg Wiseman does have a really awesome book coming out this December and everyone needs to get a copy of it. It's gonna be like a, a, a series but the first two books are all that's signed so if the first two books do well then the rest of the series gets made so we need to make sure that the first two books do well. How do I know it's gonna be amazing? Because Greg Wiseman, dummy. I signed on to MechaCon before I knew that the Power Rangers were going to be there. Then I did realize that the Power Rangers were going to be there. Paul and Jason were so fantastically funny. And we got to talk to everyone and we got all of their autographs. And it was so awesome and I just can't even process still. I have to fangirl just a little over how awesome my cousin is. Give me an early birthday present. I opened right away, of course. These are two of my characters from my own original world and they look so perfect and beautiful, it hurts. I was utterly humbled and touched. Thank you so much, Scamp. That was, that was everything and it was perfect. Yeah, right now, Scamp's moving up the ranks as number one on my list of Squires of Shiloh. Lastly, I want to talk about NaNoWriMo. Rarg, Miss Moon, November is months away. Yeah, I know. It's never too early to obsess over NaNoWriMo. One, NanoSite is open all year long. Forums aren't very active, but there is a ton of helpful writing information up there. A lot of things like um, creative methods of procrastination. I'm advising you though to head over there and make an account. Next thing I wanted to say that there's two styles of NanoRemo writing that I've heard of. One is the planner, and the second one is the pantser. The pantser flies by the seat of his or her pants. They don't plan anything, they just start writing at midnight on November 1st and see where the story takes them. The planner, unsurprisingly, plans. They can make uh, character backgrounds, plot points, they kind of fall somewhere in between those two. I made a numbered list from 1 to 30 and since I kind of sort of knew what I wanted the characters to do, so from day to day I wrote down little titles. Those taglines just became the idea behind each chapter, and I would write it out one scene at a time, one day at a time. I don't really know what style you guys would work best with, but you know yourselves, and so I say find out what works for you and then go with it. Uh, yeah, you still might want to go over to NaNoWriMo and uh, make an account. There'll be links to that and all of Greg Wiseman's stuff and everything in the, the dangly do. I guess that's all for this video. I really should return to my eternal struggle with the dreaded beast algebra. I guess I'll see you guys later. I, uh, I've got some things to catch up on.